Hey, it's Andrew with DCS. Imagine setting up a flawless line of dominoes, each one perfectly positioned to trigger the next. Now picture your dental practice's revenue as that line of dominoes. If every piece is aligned just right, the result is a spectacular display of efficiency and financial success. But if one domino falls out of line, the entire sequence can come to a halt and you don't get paid for your work. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the dental revenue cycle. We'll explore how each step is a crucial link to the next and how to ensure your financial dominoes fall smoothly every time. And as a bonus, we're giving you a free downloadable resource, the seven steps of dental revenue cycle management. Find that link in the description to download your free bonus. First up, let's break down the dental revenue cycle into seven crucial steps and where each step can fail, potentially derailing your revenue process. Step one is patient registration. It all starts when a patient books an appointment. Here, capturing accurate personal and insurance details is key. This step fails from missing patient information, which can lead to insurance verification delays and billing issues. Step two is insurance verification. Before treatment, verifying coverage ensures the patient and provider are clear on financial responsibilities. Insurance verification fails when a check is delayed, resulting in last minute coverage issues and claim rejections. Number three, presentation and acceptance of treatment. Discussing treatment plans and costs upfront avoids surprises and ensures patient agreement. This step fails when insufficient discussion leaves patients unaware of costs affecting collections. Number four, claim submission. Accurate coding and documentation are vital for clean claim creation and swift reimbursements. This step fails due to incorrect or delayed claims that lead to denials and impact cash flow. Number five, insurance payment posting. In this step, you record and apply insurance payments correctly to avoid billing errors. The failure in this step is those errors in recording payments, which can result in incorrect patient billing which damages trust. Number six, AR management. Vigilant management of aging reports helps in chasing down unpaid claims and securing the payment you're due. The failure in this step is when reports are neglected, and that means money left uncollected from insurers. Number seven is patient collections. Effective collection strategies are crucial for maintaining cash flow by ensuring patients fulfill their financial commitments. The final step fails when you don't collect efficiently from patients. You'll see an increase in write-offs and decrease in your cash flow. This means your team has to spend more time following up with patients about outstanding balances. So how can you prevent these dental RCM pitfalls? A surefire way is to make your dental revenue cycle flow easily by partnering with dental RCM experts. We call this decentralizing your revenue cycle. That means certain steps of your revenue cycle are handled directly by outside seasoned experts in the dental RCM industry. They take several of these steps off your plate, allowing your dental team to focus on running the office, building relationships with patients and growing your revenue. Ready to take control of your dental revenue cycle? Book a call with us at DCS to transform your dental practice into the business you've always dreamed of. Link in the description. And don't forget to click the other link below to download your free chart. This chart can be printed out and shared with your dental team so you can have a clear representation of your dental revenue cycle. Thanks for watching and as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any new videos.